Hello Eagles fans and welcome in to Meet the Prospect where today we're going to break down one of the most disruptive pass rushers in this draft class, Georgia linebacker Leonard Floyd. Now, Floyd has got great size. He's 6'6", 244 pounds, came in a lot bigger at the combine than people expected, but his biggest strength is his athleticism. He's got the ability to play sideline to sideline, goal line to goal line because he can make plays in reverse in coverage as well as downhill as a pass rusher and as a run defender. He's got a great first step. He's got the ability to win both inside and outside. And with his litany of pass rush moves, he's able to attack offensive tackles in a number of different ways. But he only had 17 sacks throughout his career at Georgia. So some analysts are going to look at that and say, hey, if he didn't produce at the college level, what makes you think he's going to produce at the NFL level? And that's going to be a question that a lot of teams are going to have to answer moving forward, whether he's in a 3-4 scheme or in a 4-3. A lot of people think he could be an Anthony Barr type player who was a top 15 pick for the Minnesota Vikings. Let me show you why, though. The numbers aren't always as they seem. Early in his career, Floyd, in their 3-4 front, played as an outside linebacker in their base defense. Now, you see here, this isn't, one of these two players is not Floyd. You've got senior Jordan Jenkins, who's also in this draft class. You've got Lorenzo Carter, an underclass we're going to hear about in the next few years. Here's Leonard Floyd, number 84. He's lined up as the left inside linebacker in their 3-4 scheme. With the numbers that they had on the outside, Georgia decided, you know what, we're going to move Floyd inside. They had three players graduate last year. Let's let him take advantage of that athleticism. He can play sideline to sideline for us. Let's put him in space and let him roam. And you watch him here against the run. He's going to come downhill and attack this play. Watch him shoot the gap and finish the tackle on a running back downhill. You see that closing burst. You see that impressive first step quickness from Floyd. Now, that's against the run. What about as a pass rusher? Let's look at him here in a play against Auburn. You see him here with his hand on the ground. He's a defensive end here in a sub package. Now, Floyd's got the ability to win on the outside, and that's a great trait to have. But what you also want is a guy that can win inside. And here against Auburn, he's going to get upfield, and he's going to win with an arm over move. That's his go-to pass rush move, and he's got the ability to finish on a quarterback. Now, Floyd's got the ability to win inside. He's got the ability to win outside. When you have a pass rusher that can do that at the NFL level, you, have, you can think of a Von Miller, you think of an Anthony Barr, could he be Bruce Irvin? Regardless, you look at Leonard Floyd, and he's one of the most dynamic pass rushers in this draft, he's going to go high come draft day.